Today we're going to be covering one of my personal favorites, the rocker exercise. Rocking is really, really great for decompression, a little active mobility, but I also like to use it as an incredible strengthening exercise so you can build without breaking down the joints and tissues. We're going to avoid hip thrusting from here on out, and rocking is a great way to activate strong hamstrings. You're still going to work at all these muscles in the front, don't worry, but also really engaging the glutes without that excessive hip thrust where you see a lot of compression happening. So what we hear a lot of times, whether it's from athletes, um, you know, general population, or even coaches within our own community, is we're not really targeting and feeling those muscles working as much as we can. So I'm going to give you a couple tips so you can really feel that booty and back chain on fire all day, every day. So we're going to start in our usual rocker position. I like to go about a fist width apart, toes in, heels away, inside ankle bone high in this position. You can have your knees, same thing about a fist width or two fist widths apart, whatever's comfortable for you. I like to start with my knees a little bit closer because then when I'm actively engaging my shins and pushing my hips back, I can start to light up this entire tire movement. So the best cue I can give, there's a couple different ones we'll cover. One of my favorites is pushing the top of the shins, not your kneecaps, but the top of your shins into the surface that you're working on and actively ripping those shins apart. Sometimes I'll pretend like I'm kneeling on a piece of paper and I'm trying to rip that paper apart. Or um, being from California, I like to pretend like I'm creating that nice little earthquake line in the ground. So you can have your hips all the way back or you can stay a little bit more elevated when you do this. Eyes up, chest up, everything retracted back here, nice long spine. Even just sitting in this position, if I'm being active and intentional with my movement, I can turn all these, this great musculature on, no problem. And I haven't even done a single rep. So that's the best thing I can tell you is just really be active when you're pushing into the ground and separating the earth away from your body. Sand is a great way to add resistance and help you with that engagement. And then you're gonna keep that tension while you send your hips back. We're gonna avoid tucking the tailbone underneath, nice long spine, we're decompressing, but now we're being active and we can use this as a strength building exercise. Woo, you can go assisted with your hands in front, same thing, eyes up, chest up, or you can go unassisted here, still maintaining that ripping position. That's why sometimes I'll start with my knees a little bit closer, so then when I'm ripping apart, even if my knees slide a little bit, I'm keeping that tension through my entire body. And we haven't even done a single hip thrust. Rocking is a great way to add this to your routine, ditching the hip thrust. It's a great alternative for deadlifting because you're still gonna be working those same muscles that you're striving for, without compromising your body and your structure. This direct movement is going to help you load, load, load properly to take this into your locomotion. Two more tips if you're not feeling the paper ripping cue. Another one I tell people is to, and this is a little bit funny, pretend like you're actively pushing your strong glute cheeks away from each other as far as possible. Or you can sit in this rocker position, unassisted or assisted, and flex your bum as hard as you can, and then start to rock back. Either way, the minute you feel it one time, it's gonna light up your whole world, and you will understand that, yes, this can be nice and relaxing and help you get the day flowing, but it can also be work. And we haven't even done any hip thrusting. We're owning back chain all day, every day, and that's your rocker. Light it up.